fall is creeping ever closer. You can almost smell it out there today with the cooler weather around. So meteorologist Stone Schaefer goes through how our leaves change color in this week's weather wise. Widespread foliage change hasn't quite happened yet here. Now your tree may be changing color, but not everyone is seeing that. But one area that is seeing quite a bit of foliage change is out in northern Alaska. They are already at their peak for foliage change in areas or near peak in areas of northern Alaska. So again, we, over the next couple of weeks, we'll continue to see leaves change all across the country and here in North Dakota. We look at our foliage forecast over the next couple of weeks. We see that change quickly happening by mid September. We'll see most of our leaves starting to change and by about mid October. That's when we'll reach peak foliage change across much of North Dakota and across much of the country. Now, once we get to the end of October into the start of November, well, that's where much of the country is past their peak foliage and then well, those leaves are starting to fall onto the road. So why do our leaves change color? Well, it's all based on their chlorophyll. When the cooler weather starts to happen, the tree's chlorophyll breaks down, leaving other chemicals that cause color change. These are a bunch of different chemicals that cause green, yellow, orange, and those red leaves. And the most ideal weather Weather is definitely going to be when we have a late summer is dry and autumn has many sunny uh, days with cooler nights and we have actually been seeing that. However, a reminder drought out to the west could impact some of the timing when it comes to foliage change. So another thing that this means is leaves falling to the ground and this actually could have impacts on us and our driving skills. Wet roads because of the leaves could cause stopping issues. Reminder when you have a dry road, it usually takes about 80 feet to stop a car going 40 miles miles per hour wet road about 160 feet going 40 miles per hour but those wet leaves they can cause stopping distances to go as high as 250 feet on those roads so make sure you're being careful if you do drive any any of those leaves and when it comes to the weight of leaves this is another thing to be mindful of this can cause issues on your heart and your body reminder 2000 average is the average number of leaves on a mature oak tree and about 360 dry leaves equals one pound reminder one tree is about 550 pounds of leaves and a wet leaf can multiply by four times its weight when you do have that rain and even snow towards the uh, end of fall into the winter and I did want to list a couple places you can go visit to see some of these uh, foliage changes the Red River Valley is a good place the Devil's Lake area there's a whole list here of areas that you can visit over the next couple of weeks to see that nice foliage change. So remember to continue to send your questions so I can answer them here weekly on WeatherWise. And you can do so by heading over to kxnet.com, clicking on Weather, then WeatherWise. There you'll find a link that lets you submit a question.